Hello and welcome. This is a video series on Max MSP or Max 7, a graphical programming language for media artists and musicians. If you're following along in the series, you've seen an overview of Max and a brief introduction to building your first patch, connecting objects and putting different types of objects and data types into your patch. I'm going to take a moment and pause on the how to's to talk about something that is really important keyboard shortcuts. You can, if you want to, do everything with your mouse in Max. However, this really slows down your workflow. Keyboard shortcuts are an indispensable tool when you are learning to patch. So the first keyboard shortcut I will show you, to be quite meta about it, is pressing X, which actually brings up another list of keyboard shortcuts. So all, maybe not all, but most of the letters on your keyboard have a shortcut attached to them that will help you speed up your patch building. So as an example, I have a very small set of, of objects here that I could grab by going up to the panel and dragging them down. Here's an object, here's a button, here's a comment, and where's my number? Here's a number. Okay, but that is a lot of extra work. What I could do instead is use my keyboard shortcuts. If I want to toggle, I can press T, and it places it right where my mouse is. If I want to comment, I can press C, and then directly start typing right in. If I want a number box, I press I, that's for integer. If I want an object, I press N, that's for new, and I can type right into it. And hit enter. And a button is B. Now I have all of those objects quickly made into my patch. I can hook them all up. Two other very quick keyboard shortcuts are unlocking and locking the patch. This is something that you will do constantly as you are building your patch, so you don't want to have to come down here and keep clicking. There's three ways you can do it, actually, not two. You can right click with your mouse and click on and off the edit checkbox. That's not a keyboard shortcut. It's also with your mouse, but it's a little bit quicker. I find it's even quicker to hold the command key on your keyboard and then click. And this just toggles back and forth. So if you're in edit mode, it puts it into run mode and vice versa. And then lastly, the actual keyboard shortcut is just command E. And that will toggle back and forth as well. So I do this all the time without even thinking about it, so you'll see me toggling back and forth between run and edit mode. Another neat little trick is that if you want to keep the patch in edit mode, but you want to interact with it very quickly, for example, you want to turn on a toggle, you can do that by holding command and then clicking on the toggle. And then I've let go of command, and I'm still in edit mode so I can move my edit, make some edits to my patch, but my toggle is now on. I can hold command again to turn it off. Hopefully this will save you some time, make your life a little bit easier when you're patching.